Hi guys, it's Karen again and you are welcome to another video. Today I want to share with you, it's kind of a continuance uh, video for a video I just up uploaded a few days ago regarding my goals for 2021 and one of them was switching to buying skincare and makeup from companies that are cruelty free. So I did some homework, well it's not entirely finished but I wanted to um, share with you what I found out so far. So what does it mean cruelty free? There are a few uh, definitions for a company to be cruelty free and I'm just going to read it from the internet. One of them is they don't test finished products on animals at any point during production. Their suppliers don't test ingredients, raw materials or products on animals and no third-party tests on animals on their behalf and they don't test on animals where the law requires, meaning mainland China. Okay, so I went online and I just made two lists for myself, one is not cruelty-free companies and one is cruelty-free companies. So all of these companies that are in green are cruelty-free and, you know, the kind of a, a long list. And of course, I was focusing on companies that I know and I buy from and or I want to buy from in the future. These are the ones that I looked for. Of course, everyone is going to have a different list, but what I have in my red list are companies that I have products from, like Neutrogena and L'Oreal and Revlon and L'Occitane and Maybelline and MAC and Nivea and Olay, Physician Formula, Revlon, Rimmel, Garnier, Glamglow, Bioderma. I know, you know, so many companies that I buy from. And if you will look at my vanity right now, you will see products from these companies like from Maybelline okay so I do have another Maybelline here and for Calour another company that is uh, not cruelty friendly not cruelty free so I do have these products and I'm not as I said before I'm not going to throw them away but I'm not going to consciously purchase anything new from these companies if they want my money they have to be cruelty free and I know it means that maybe they can't sell, sell their products in China but you know the, this is their decision and this is my decision and my decision is to buy only cruelty free and let's see some companies that are cruelty free like Kiko and Colourpop and you know the list goes on and on like becca and bh cosmetics well i was very very happy catrice covergirl uh, derma e dermalogica dose of colors drunk elephant dr pow pow which i have here dr pow pow i can't find it right now elf essence essence my love Essence, my love, <laughs> uh, Glow Recipe, Gerard Cosmetics, well, I love their setting spray and I was so happy to see the name here, Huda, Hourglass, uh, Ilamasca, Inglot, Eat Cosmetics, um, and the list goes on and on, Julia's Place and Lush and so many Makeup Revolution and NYX and Nip and Fab and Tasha Denona and Ofra and Ola Hendrickson and Real Technique and Rituals and you know the list goes on and on and on and on and on and on and Zuiva, White Wet and Wild, you know also drugstores and also high-end and also in the middle there are some companies that are in the middle that are not drugstore and they're not high-end but you have a lot of variety to choose from okay I love Revlon Candid Foundation. I do. And I finally found my shade, which took me a long time to find. But will I repurchase? No, I will not. And as I said in my previous video, there is a palette of Maybelline, Nudes of New York or something like that. that is, 
came out a few months ago and I really wanted to buy it and I didn't have a chance so far and I saw it in my drugstore earlier this week or um, something like that and I thought about my goals for 2021 and my goals are to buy from companies that are cruelty free they do not test on animals so I didn't buy it and I'm not going to even though I really, 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 really want to. Additional companies, you have The Balm, you have Tony Moly and Too Faced and Urban Decay and Tarte and Tasha and The Inky List and The Ordinary, you know, Rituals. You have so many companies in this list. Now, if you're interested, I can share this list with you. I went online. There are um, a few websites that have an A to Z list and they they don't have all the brands that I use so I for the brands that I use and are, were not there I just you know googled it and I wrote down is let's say for example Kiko is Kiko cruelty free and then you know you have an answer or you have to go to the website of a specific brand that you want and if you can't find anywhere in their website that are cruelty free or in any of their lists that are cruelty free i just i did it i just sent an email to the company and asked them are they cruelty free because i couldn't find anywhere on their website or in other uh internet websites that lists all the cruelty free companies so i didn't find that company there so i'm verifying so it's very easy you just have to be aware of it aware of it and look so many companies that you can buy that are cruelty free and i know that on iherb you can just write down cruelty free products and they just list and give you all the products that are cruelty free from uh, let's say uh, Insta Natural are there and Helmish and Himalaya Herbals and Horror Balm, you know, companies that sell on iHerb and are cruelty free. So it's very accessible, you know, it's very, very easy to find if a company is cruelty free or not. And if it's too hard, then you know, assume that they're not cruelty free because if they were, they would have published it in their uh, F FAQ or on their home page. So if they're not publishing it, then it means that they're probably not. And it's not a big deal. But if you are like me and you were not aware of this issue of testing on animals and all the tests that are done in China, and as I said in my uh, previous video, and I will repeat it again, I learned that if you want to sell your products in China, by law, you have to perform uh, animal testings. But I did read somewhere that not all the companies that sell in China has to perform these tests. So it's not 100% sure that if they are manufacturing in China, then definitely they are not cruelty free. You have to read and educate yourself about it. But first, be aware of it. Be aware of it that big companies that we usually buy from are not cruelty free. Just be aware. Start by being aware of it. Then you can decide for yourself if it matters to you or it doesn't matter to you. You know, it doesn't have to matter to you. You can be like me for all the duration of my life. It didn't bother me because I didn't even think about it. And I have to tell you that I don't know what triggered that cruelty-free idea that I had. Maybe some kind of article that I read online or maybe a blog or something like that that triggered that question in my mind, that it burned in my mind. And I love animals. I'm an animal lover. And it doesn't, it doesn't sit with my beliefs testing on animals. So I wasn't aware of it until now. You can shoot me, but you know, I'm trying to correct my ways and I'm teaching my children to be aware of it because today I was, as I said, going online and searching for all the companies that I use their products and to see Colgate, is it cruelty free? 
No, it is not. Pupa, is it cruelty free? Yes, it is. Makeup Revolution is cruelty free. I was so happy. And Kiko and Wet n Wild and products that are that I use and they are drugstore. And Natasha Denona, which is not drugstore, it's in high end and Too Faced and Hourglass. And you know, there are so many companies that are cruelty free. And there we have so many options and it's a shame just not to be aware of it but you know if this video doesn't speak to you then you can just leave now i won't be offended and um, carry on with your life but if you do care and you weren't aware of it until now like i wasn't then keep that in mind. If you want me to share my lists with you, write down in the comment section down below and I will share my lists with you, lists that I composed. And as I just said about my kids, I was Googling today for all of those products and I was going over one after one after one and my children are asking, what are you doing? And I explained that to them. And they were also surprised. My son is uh, almost 11 and he's asking me, what? They're testing makeup on animals? Does animals want to have makeup all over them? Are they putting makeup like you do? I don't understand. That's what he told me. He didn't understand why makeup is being tested on animals. And I had to explain, and I did. But, you know, I made him aware of it. No, of course he doesn't. Make, he doesn't buy makeup, and he will never buy makeup unless it's for his uh, partner, maybe in the future. But when he will want to buy me a present, maybe on Mother's Day or my birthday, he will be aware of it, and my daughter as well, because she is going to be a new consumer for makeup and skincare in the near future. So. If she's aware of it, and my son is aware of it, and maybe one or two from you will be aware of it, well, I did my part. Because when one person is aware of it, and he's forwarding it to someone else, and that one is forwarding and forwarding and forwarding, then the word is out there, and cruelty-free companies are a big thumbs up, and I love you so much, and even the drunk elephant, I was so happy, and there are so many companies that are on this list, and I was so happy to see them there, and there are companies that I was so sad to see in the no-no list, like L'Oreal and Maybelline, that are my favorite companies from the drugstore. If you're going to ask me which are my, okay, my old me, which were my uh, favorite uh, makeup and skincare uh, manufacturer from the drugstore, you will get the answer L'Oreal and Maybelline. But now, big no-no, I'm not going to purchase anything from them ever again. And I hope that I won't get anything as a present. Now I have to drip this to my husband so he will not buy anything for me. Also, I am assuming that the same thing applies on Eau de Profume and Eau de Toilette. And, well, I have to check the list also for these perfumes. Okay, so that's it from me now. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want me to share my lists with you, then write something in the comment section down below. Write down in the comment section if it is something that relates to you. Are you buying only from cruelty-free companies? Maybe you have a list that you can share with me. That will be wonderful as well. It will help me a lot. And if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and hitting the not notification bell. And I'll get you all in my next video. Bye.